Hello everyone, welcome to the Xara template channel. This is lesson number 17 for the Xara Web Designer 365 Premium Software. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about a new feature. In this case, the ability to apply photo filters to your photos in your website. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing you'll probably notice is I already have a photo in my workspace. And in this case, this was a photo that my wife took when she was on a trip with her company and her coworkers were with her and she captured this amazing photo. So I decided to use that for this particular tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you wanna do is actually go to your uh, content catalog. But before you do that, make sure that you have this photo selected. And the way that you'll know that is you'll see that they have little nodes on the, the sides of the photo, indicating that we have this photo selected. So the next thing we're gonna do is go up to our menu bar here and go to insert and then select from content catalog. From within the content catalog, you'll see that we have a section called photo filter presets and it'll have the word new to the right of it, indicating that this is a new feature in the program. And under this category, you have two sections. And I'm gonna actually close this so that you can see the two sections. You'll have filters and then you have overlays. And filters are special effects that you can apply to your photo and overlays are overlays that overlay uh, the photo that you have with a special effect so let's go ahead and open up the filters tab here and we're going to select graphic as our subcategory and i'm going to select blur zoom for import so let's go ahead and click on that and you'll see that it adds a slight zooming effect to the edges of our photo if you look really close at the screen but let's go ahead and go back to insert again and select from content catalog. And this time we're gonna go to overlays and we're gonna select blurs and we're gonna apply a top blur. So let's go ahead and click on import for that. Now in this case, you'll notice that our zoom effect is not really showing in the photo anymore. And I want you guys to see that because the order in which you apply your filters may affect the previous filter. So in this case, let's go ahead and go back to insert, select from content catalog, and let's go ahead and go back to filters and select graphic, and then we're gonna select blur zoom for import. And now you'll notice that the zoom effect sits on top of the blur. So the order in which you apply it may make one effect appear if it does not exist. So you can apply multiple filters from those sections but you need to make sure that the order that you apply them will make it where it's clear that both of those photo filters are applied. But let's go ahead and go back to insert again, select from content catalog, and I'm going to explain some things to you guys. First off, the first being is that you should only select one option from each of these categories. So for example, you would not have two effects applied to your existing photo. For example, if you tried to apply the classic effect and then you try to apply the code effect, the code effect is going to overwrite the classic effect. So in other words, you can only choose one item from this particular category. And if you were to select, you know, for example, graphic, you could only select one option from this category. You wouldn't be able to apply, for example, the California effect and then apply the coffee effect. What would happen then is the coffee effect would override the California effect. However, you can choose one option from each of these categories and those filters should mix and you should be able to see that actually happening within your photo. Also, you can choose, you know, one effect from each of these categories for the overlays. So for example, if I wanted to overlay the photo with, let's choose, maybe we'll choose canvas. Okay, and we hit import for canvas. You'll now see that we have a canvas that sits on top of that. You can see somewhat some of the blur effect and you also can see a slight zoom effect on this photo. So you can apply one effect from each of these categories from overlays and mix them and match them together. And the same applies for filters. You can choose one effect from each of these categories and mix and match them, but you cannot choose two uh, you know, filters from each of these categories, just one at a time. And you can mix and match between filters and overlays. So in other words, you can have different overlays mixed together with different filters as long as you're only picking one from each of those categories. And I'm sorry that I repeated that a bunch of times, but I really wanna make sure that you clearly understand how this works. And let me go ahead and close this out and show you guys a photo that I was working on uh, before I started this tutorial. So I'm gonna hide this current photo. And you can see that 
you know, I got a really cool looking photo here that I created using some of the different built in filters within the content catalog. So I hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. If you're currently not a part of our Patreon page, please make sure you check that out. Any support that you give us will help us improve the quality of our YouTube channel as well as the frequency at which we release new videos. And in addition to that, you'll have access to exclusive videos as a Patreon supporter that won't be available to regular YouTube viewers. And also you'll have some say so in the direction that we take this channel.